Hey everybody, it's your favorite War Mage Nanani here, back with some more Orcs Must Die on Nightmare Mode, of course. This time we're doing level 9, the stream, not the steam, even though we get the steam trap, it's the stream, not the steam. Anyways, I am re-recording this because as I was watching the other one in my editor, my video editor, I'm like, wow, I did so terrible. I need to redo this and show you guys how much better I am at this game because a lot of these new ones I'm just like ugh, terrible like terrible so like block this off with the barricade that way they can't go up and kill your archers I chose the coin forge because I need a lot of money for this setup okay so the first thing we see is a lot a lot a lot a lot of flyers I'm gonna put a zapper down and hopefully that'll take care of new ones didn't get it out in time. Drop the chandelier on the head. Boom. Drop this one too. Boom. Oh, it didn't kill anybody. All right, so put your lightning storm down. Get some money. Dropping another chandelier. It's a little hectic at the start because you don't have any traps, but it does get better. Now, my previous video that I decided to scrap Beating that got me 239th rank in the world, okay? So the objective of this video is to beat that, and I'm just gonna spoil it. Spoiler alert, I do beat it, so. I beat it pretty badly, too. Go to the rift, get some mana, get some life. Watch that zapper go off. Now, the zapper and the floor burner are from the DLC, so some of you may be thinking, well, you're kind of cheating. It, it isn't really a playthrough from the beginning. You're right. Embrace your inner dark. I haven't really used these new traps, though, so I want to use them. Show you guys that they are actually pretty good. They do help in building combos. So I put down the two arrow walls, hoping to lure some more orcs in there. I picked up the steel weaver. Getting a few combos here and there but mostly focusing on money still. Just gotta wait on the horde to get here. It takes them a while. Got those archers in the back near the uh, spawn point. Just picking them off. Now these little hell flyer babies piss me off just like kobolds. They're so hard to hit. You try and lead the target, and then you shoot past them. You try and get on top of them, and you shoot past them. It really sucks. The easiest way I've seen is to take them on head-on. Get some more health, some more mana. Gotta have that mana for the lightning storm. It takes like 80% of your bar. Until later, I forgot to I press suppose. accept, so I didn't pick up the uh, guardian health, but then I remember to. Here we've got kobold runners. Arrow walls are great for these because they shoot multiple times. So the first runner sets it off, and then it gets the waves of those behind it. Now I pick up the guardian armor. Still don't have enough for the burning pitch, I but I will this. soon. Here, orky, orky, orky. All right, got him in my lightning storm. More kobolds, which really sucks. Gotta chase those down. And when you're chasing down kobolds, you can't focus on the orcs on the coin forge. So try and kill the kobolds first. They're the highest priority. All right, now we have the money for the burning pitch and some archers. So that's what we are gonna do. Until later, I, I put my archers over here. It makes the most sense to me. That way, you know, the orcs can't get to them until they get to the rift. So, drop the lightning. Look at those combos. They're just flying in right now. And it's going to get so much better. I'm going to replace that coin forge by the arrow wall with tar traps soon. All nine squares of it. So... Still trying to kill him on the coin forge. Get that extra money. 
This is one of the few levels that I would suggest the coin forge because you're so strapped for cash and if you want combos you really need it. Look at all those arrows. I love it. Oh yeah. I decided to put another zapper down. I hate dealing with the flyers and I don't want them to kill my archers in the back. Because on nightmare mode, you don't get a break. So the archers don't revive. Once they're dead, they're dead. <laughs> Putting a few more archers down here. My bow is yours. I thought about putting tar there, but it just doesn't make sense. So here's where I decide to mix it up a little bit. I'm putting floor burners facing the choke point. What's going to happen is if they're standing on top of it, it's going to push them back like a, a small spring trap. Otherwise, it's going to burn them like that armored ogre right there. This guy just gets demolished. I feel bad for him a little bit. You're dead. Six combo. No problem. Didn't even have tar down. That would have been a seven, uh, a seven combo if I did. Okay, so I got three floor burners now, all facing the coin forge. And these things go off constantly. They are really good traps for combos. They're up all the time. Okay, time to sell the coin forge and put down some tar. Now I mess up right here. God, that bothers me. No symmetry. I didn't have enough money to fill up the entire nine grid though, so. Gotta wait a while. Five combo, four combo. Four combo, four. Look at all these combos. There's so many. Okay, filled up almost the entire tar thing. Just need to wait for the next wave to sell that other one. Trying to get enough mana for a lightning cloud here. There we go. Take out these hell babies. Don't want them killing my archers. So I go and give my archers some support. The crossbow guys are just trying to mess up my archers as well. But it's not going to happen. Not today. Okay, time to sell that tar. Everything's fixed now. Pick up this coin over here that I missed for like three waves. I'm gonna put another zapper down just to thin the herd some more. Can't really get a lot of combos on the flyer, so I'm not worried about it. Now on the next wave, I believe I'm gonna get rid of this coin forge and put more floor burners on the other side facing the choke point. And the combos are just gonna roll in. I decide to pick up oil traps and jagged seal. The bleed effect will just be more combo points. The only problem with this setup is you're seeing the floor burner is killing them with the archers before they get to the second arrow wall. So I'm not sure what you could change. Uh, if you didn't want to play with the zapper, you could put spike traps on that first um, tar trap part. That would work. You might get some more points there. Oh, I'm almost dead. Run to the rift, run to the rift. I'd love to know what you guys think about the strategy. If you like it, if you don't like it, what you would do different. All right, sold that coin forge. Gonna face these this way. Still not enough money. Some null hunters coming, some more ogres. Hoping to get some big combos on those ogres. I was playing the tower the other day, trying to beat Antos' score, and uh, I got some 9 combos on the ogres. Pretty impressive. I was like, whoa, finally I get to see a 9 combo. I didn't even think that you could do that, but it was so awesome. Alright, we got 3 ogres to deal with here. They die so quick. Those poor things. Throw down the frost and they're done. Just waiting for some more lightning. 
Only one guy left though, so shoot him. Shoot him in the face. How about some of this? Now I put those arrow walls up right there just so it would hit the flyers if any got through. I don't think any actually get through though, so... Here we've got a single ogre. Died super quick. Poor guy. Cobalt runners. Those floor burners just destroy them. I mean, that is... That's a square of death right there. The only thing better was if there would be another wall. But, you know, we work with what we've got. I just get hit by like five arrows. I don't know why. They're better at hitting moving targets, I guess, than I am. And this is the last wave, so we're almost done here. Just gotta kill these hell babies. As you can see, the flyers. Oh, the arrow traps did go off. So it wasn't a total waste of money. I'm gonna run to the rift, and by the time I get there, we should be over. Nice. And we win. I'm excited about this because I wanna show you guys how much uh, different the points are. So I got 181,532. If you remember, as I said, I was 239th in the world. I am now 23 in the world on that map. So huge difference. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back with more Orcs Must Die, level 10, all the way through the end. So keep watching. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.